on March 22nd, we waited again and again, like the well-trained barking seals that we are, waiting for another piece of information from my handlers. Before we start the video, I would like to thank you guys for liking and subscribing to the channel. By the time you see this, hopefully I'll be fully monetized and over 10,000 subs. This is crazy to me, guys. This is amazing. Thank you guys for giving me the opportunity. Now back to the video. Every day, price is rising. Just give us a large X1 carpet. That's literally all we need. With Bamboo latest reveal, it show us that this printer is not for your regular Joe Schmo, the 3D prints in his basement. Oh no, this is for industrial use only. And you're probably wondering now what it is latest image means. It means they're jacking up the price. That's what it means. And there's two more left to unveil. So there's two more. This is probably the laser engraver. And this is probably a mass airflow sensor. I don't know. Is this a 3D printer or a CNC machine? Well, it's a little bit of both. This sensor allows the printer to auto level without moving the head or having the head touch the bed to home itself. Do we need this feature? No, but I guess it's kind of cool. Looking at the image provided by Bamboo Lab, the sensor is located right next to the hot end. I uh, let me look for the image right here so this is a new image that bamboo lab have released this image is actually very helpful you can see a few things so this is a high flow nozzles 0.4 um it looks like you could put maybe multiple sizes or different sizes again at the same time i'm going to show you so the sensor is in this box here so that's going to light up the belt plate and it's going to like measure things accurately just like they would measure it like on a CNC or a laser cutting machine. Another interesting thing is that the nozzle does pivot forward and backwards. You see how this one is dock. So the filament that is on the top. So there's two filament. There's, if you look at over here, you don't see the words there, but it says left extruder and this is right extruder. So R extruder, L extruder. And you guys can see the extruder is here and then another extruder goes there. Um, the extruder that is like working has the light on. So there's a possibility that you could probably print with the, at the same time. Because I have seen an image with these two lights are on and you can print with the nozzles, dual nozzles at the same time, which could be cool if you're doing a multicolor. We'll see later what you could do with this application. But right now you can see that you can dock one nozzle while you print in one and then once it finished, it will wipe itself there and then undock and then this one docks back to prevent from filament from oozing now while you're printing which is pretty smart actually so a lot of you guys right now are probably wondering why is bamboo doing this why are you doing this to us this is not what we asked for well it's not really what you want or what you need it's more what the bamboo lab the company is looking to go after so right now i think that bamboo lab main competitor on the large scale type of printer will be prusa xl and i think by including these small features of double extruder um, the, the new ams system plus this new radar system whatever it is yeah so they, they're trying to compete against this the prusa xl which is a multi-tool head printer which is 400 by 400 I, I believe the customer for this printer is like a big company like an industrial company that needs samples or they need to make years or life-size applications or this is mainly for engineers this printer is geared the printer that they have the Prusa SL one tool head is two thousand dollars now if you order the five tool heads uh, that's up over five thousand dollars for this printer with the five tool heads look at if you want assembled oh it's a little bit all right there now if you include shipping and VAT fees since these guys are in Europe they charge you a VAT 
or ta uh, tariff for um, shipping the stuff to America it will end up being like five thousand dollars so the H2D is mainly for engineers and small companies it's not for someone that is 3d printing in their basement for the first time um, they might have some features where it's easier for you to get started and going but this is geared towards a higher a higher paying customer that needs precision and it needs um, all these little features that the average 3d printer guy would not need um, which is a shame because it would have been nice seeing a, a bigger X1 Carbon with the new AMS system. That would have been a much better, I guess, a much better printer for mass consumers instead of this small amount of people like engineers and small businesses. I think that's this is the only kind of people that can afford this type of printer because this is kind of very. This is expensive for a 3D printer for a person to use, for a personal use. So I don't know why they say rethinking personal manufacturing. So it's not really personal. I think it has to be a company or engineer or someone that has the funds to do this because this is really not what people are asking for right now. They might study this in history on how not to fumble a bag by bamboo lab only time will tell let's see what's going to be the actual price of the h2d but if it's like in the three thousand to five thousand dollar range that will be a little bit steep for the average consumer so if you like this type of content make sure hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you on the next one